Hey, what's up you guys? So this week I decided to come out with a tutorial on how to do hairstyles um, using GIMP. A lot, uh, if you're new, I recommend starting out with hairstyles. Now a lot of developers will re uh, recommend stickers. I do not because uh, stickers don't really sell that well. Um, because, because, let's hear me out. IMBU came out with uh, IMBU Next here not well, too long ago, so there are a lot of people that have been getting on IMBU for the past, since they first came out with that, that aren't even aware that that is still a thing, because um, I've actually seen people think that the IMBU Next is like the actual, like the whole web page, which isn't true, there's, there's still like the whole like standard website is still there, it's still accessible, um, it's just a little tricky if you're not a developer, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure what possessed me to voice this part of the video later, but if you didn't notice, I'm sounding pretty rough from some kind of cold or whatever. So I apologize for sounding pretty off. I'm gonna push through this though. Let's get get pulled on up. And a new document. I usually start with a 256 by 256 pixel canvas. Let's pick a color. Mm, maybe a brown. Yeah, I like brown. Uh, you can go with any color you like. I'm just, uh, Choosing one right off my head. I'm not really sure what I'm going with. I usually improvise. I'm not going to lie. Just did a little more. Pretty. Sort of. Use another shade of brown. I like to kind of mix and match different colors because when you look at hair, it uh, you'll notice that there's kind of like little highlights and low lights and stuff. It kind of depends upon where the light is pointing. So that is actually why I mix and match. Uh, well, not really mix and matching. They're all shades of brown, and you know if you're noticing that, uh, just different, you know, different uh, brightnesses. I use one that's pretty bright there in the middle, and then a dark one. And we're gonna go noise this up and we're going to go blur it motion blur and we're going to need to need to aim this either up or down usually down works best <clears throat> Gonna start a new layer. I use a very odd method, I guess. I like to add on to my hairstyles. I like to have complete control. Uh, not what that. I don't know what that says about my personality, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, you should totally try this. Let's do the noise again. And we're going to motion blur this as well, if I can find it. There it is. I just like went over that like twice. What the heck is wrong? Re-edit that. That was too much. I'm gonna break that down some. New layer. Want to add a little more texture? Going to add a little bit of color here at the very tippy top. Mm 
little more. And we're going to also noise this up, spread it. Spread that shit good. And blur it some more. Just like we did with everything else. Of course, we're going to bring this down a little, much more because we did not use nearly as much uh, color there as I did on the other ones. And you are definitely going to want to blur those edges because if you don't and you go through and you put your texture on, you're going to notice some weird grainy looking shit at the very base of the hair if you don't do that. Some hairstyles you don't really notice it on, but it really just depends upon like the the type of mesh that the person that you drove uh, drive from used. Add some darkness down here. Make it a little darker. Hair is usually a little darker and the further down it goes. Usually, I mean, unless like there's a light bulb sitting like directly under you. Spread that shit too. A little more. I'm going to blur that also. Going to have to angle this upward though. Cannot aim that down, that's just gonna disappear. Disappear like all of our hopes and dreams. Now let's do that a little more. Blur that also. Because like I said, that with the top part, it can also happen with the bottom part. Not nearly as often though. And not nearly as noticeable either. But, you know, people appreciate detail. Or I'm just straight up nitpicky, I don't know. Going to add a little more vibrance towards the middle. And we're going to try to blend the top a little. And towards the middle blend this a little more because if you notice there's a there's kind of a weird raccoon looking pattern going on we don't want that to be too bad but you know don't want that to stick out too much but at the same time you do want some kind of shimmer going on sometimes it really just depends upon what you're going for really Looking good. Burp, burp. No, I was gonna try to bring that down, but yeah, I'll we'll just leave it there. We're going to need to export this, cause I don't know, GIF or GIMP doesn't have much, doesn't have like a, a regular save system, so we're gonna need to. Found a place to store your hairstyle and we are going to save it. Um, I do recommend you using a PNG because that's like the maximum resolution you can get. Um, JPEG works too, but I personally prefer PNG for, for obvious reasons. I like the highest quality, don't we all? Ooh, look at all these pretty hairstyles. And need to choose a hairstyle to try this on. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, sometimes I'm pretty lazy. I'll just go to the front page where there are other hairstyles and I'll just click on one and go to whoever the hell they drove from and apply my own unique hair textures. There are tons of different um, people that make uh, mesh hair meshes so 
feel free to dive on in and look for whatever hairstyle you prefer but I'm just gonna take the lazy route for this one guess I'm going with this hairstyle and let's hit that drive button Oh, finally. That looks so pretty. Long lush. Can you change that? Alright, I'm gonna select our hair texture and put that on and apply changes. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Although I think I might want to maybe add a few things, possibly. Let me see what this looks like on a regular avatar first. The default avatars have like really big heads, so the hairstyles usually look a little different. So I usually try to use one of my models to kind of get a better idea of what I'm working with. So we're going to put a little more detail on here. Just a little bit. Blend the top a little more. Looking good. Maybe. You'll still find out here in a second. Spread it. Okay. Motion blur again. Put a little more strength into that to blend it a little better. Eh, we do that. I need to aim it back down. I forgot to redirection it. Control Z. That's what I just did there to make that dot go away that I accidentally made. I'm going. I like to kind of make copies of my hairstyles because sometimes I'll kind of overdo it and the last thing I did will look better so I like to save copies during the process of making a new hair texture and you know after you've uh, done all your editing and you have like several copies out just delete all the ones you don't want to use that's that's you know what I usually do It definitely helps to get a better idea of what you what direction you want to take because sometimes I just come in here and I just don't know what the hell I'm doing I just kind of figure it out along the way works its way works its uh, self out most of the time not always though sometimes it looks terrible not often though they got Hmm. Add a little more to the top. Maybe I can delete this using the cutout method. Nope, GIMP can't do that. Alright. Uh, Control Z, I guess. Alright, that works. Okay. Not sure why I thought GIMP could do that. Alright. Let's do that again. Red under noise and just that. Blur it again. Bring that down. Um, hmm, we do it. Bring it down a little more. Alright, a little bit of 
but not quite. Alright, looks like we're just gonna have to blur the top because it's starting, it's doing a little grainy thing again, so yeah, I gotta adjust that. Blur the bottom too, I just noticed it's kind of doing that towards the bottom also. Fix that. Export one more again. Apply this texture. Mmm, looking a little better. I like that much better, actually. And once you are satisfied, just save and hit upload. And right here is where you're going to enter all your information, how much uh, you would like to earn under your profit. Add an icon and name it, and also include many search keys. Make sure to use up all 12 words, because the more keywords you use, the better. This uh, helps people uh, for your products to show up in the search in engine when people search keywords in the search engine when they go under the catalog or shop in the client or web browser. So yeah, make sure to fill all that out and just, you know, tags and stuff and whatnot that are close to whatever the heck you're making. And now you have officially made a hairstyle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I was able to help a few people out in need, maybe, possibly. Hope I didn't make it worse. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, for real, uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I hope you have an awesome weekend, and maybe I will see you later. Subscribe.